Hi everybody, this is Aaron with Automated Batting Cages and in this video we're going to go over a PT4 main circuit board. So let's dive in. Hey guys, in this overview we're going to cover a PT4 main circuit board, which is what I have right here. This thing looks pretty intimidating, it's actually not that difficult once you know what's going on. So let's dive into this PT4 main board, and to do this, we're gonna start off by taking our multimeter, and we're gonna switch it to, to voltage DC, which is the V with the straight line above it. And I'm gonna go ahead and set this right in here. When a token is dropped on a machine, it sends a five volt signal to turn the machine on. I'm gonna fake that for this video, and we're gonna act like a token was dropped, and we're gonna send voltage to the main circuit board. So when a token is dropped, the light box is gonna receive an approximate five volt signal. In this case, we have a single cage machine that's wired as machine A. So we can see that signal up in the top here. This is where it receives its signal. And we're gonna get a five volt DC signal to start. So we're getting around 5.5 here. Once the controller reads that signal, it's gonna tell it to turn on the yellow light. The yellow light relay is located over here. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and touch our test lead to the one and the controller is sending voltage to this upper right hand screw. So we should see around five volts DC right here. And we're getting 4.27, which is enough to turn on the relay. After the yellow light has been turned on, the controller is gonna send a signal down to turn on the machine relay. The machine relay is located down here. And again, like all other relays, we have a number one that denotes the ground position. And the controller is gonna send a five volt signal down to this lower left hand screw. So we're gonna check that with our other test lead and we can see we're getting 4.3 volts. That's enough to turn on the relay. After that has happened, the controller is gonna go ahead and turn on the red light. The red light relay is located on the upper left hand side below the yellow light relay. Again, we have a number one located on the red light relay and that's gonna be our ground position. So we're gonna to touch our test lead to that. And then just above that on the right hand side of the relay, that's where the controller is sending its five volt signal. So we're gonna to touch our second lead there and we can see we're getting 4.27 volts. So that's enough to turn on the red light relay. Once the red light relay receives that voltage signal, it's gonna go ahead and turn on the red light. After the red light has been turned on, the controller next will turn on the feed relay. The feed relay is located down here. So we're gonna to touch our test lead to the number one position. And then on the feed A relay, the controller is sending the signal to the upper right hand side. Here we see we have 3.62 volts, which is enough to turn on the relay. Once the feed relay has been switched on, the machine will begin pitching balls. It'll pitch for the program number of pitches. After that has happened, it'll shut off its game signal, it'll reset itself, and it'll be ready for the next game. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it helped you understand what's happening inside your PT4 light box, and we'll catch you on the next one.